guys, Ripper Safos here, or Zeb if you prefer. I, the video I want to do today, right now, what it's based off is how I level up my weapons quickly, actually. So, right now, I have only the Sancti Tigris. That's the shotgun I want to level up quickly right now. And with how powerful it is on its own, I just put, I just grab Loki, put it on Loki, and I've been going here to Bode on Siri. Sirius, which is actually a really great spy mission. Spy missions, in my opinion, are the best way to level up because they can give a lot of XP no matter the difficulty. Um, because whenever you grab, when you receive the data from the data terminals you have to hack without setting off an alarm, you get quite a lot of uh, XP for whatever weapon you have equipped. And I want to make this video now before I actually got it finished getting it to rank 30, so enjoy the video. Tenno, I need you to get inside enemy data vaults and retrieve crucial intelligence data. If we can avoid alerting them, this might be easier. As you can see right now, I killed that Grenier and I came into this corner so I can build up my energy because this is my stealth build for Loki and well even though I'm using a shotgun I have a augment called hushed invisibility which cancels which basically cancels out the sound of my shotgun. Be on the lookout for increased security measures. The target console is nearby. If you trigger the alarms now, the enemy will start destroying data. Oh yes, before I forget to mention, I'm gonna show you guys how I get through some of these data terminals quickly. As you just saw there, I just jumped onto that little terminal and then bullet jumped straight up and went through that broken glass. Data extracted. They won't even know it's gone.
You're nearing the console. Trigger the alarms now, and they will start destroying your data. Extraction with no alarms. Keep going. Nobody knows you're here. Nearing the console. Trigger the alarms now, and they will start destroying the data. Alarms have been triggered. You need to retrieve that data before the data destruction is complete. Data integrity verified. Retrieval was successful. Okay, I will admit, honestly, I did not see extraction. that specific part coming. I had learned about that little path I tried to take before I got caught, which is through here. I didn't know those were there. So, my bad on that one. To actually still this one, how I normally do it, which I'm going to do from now on, is go invisible, go up through here. Deactivate the laser with this terminal. <coughs> Excuse me. And then go through here. Quickly go through here. Drop down here. Come over here. Deactivate this terminal as you saw. Um, go back up. Go in, if you're not already invisible, if you go invisible again, deactivate this terminal, go through the door, hack the terminal, and there you go. And if you have to take the Tigris, as you would have noticed every time you successfully hack a terminal without getting caught, that little symbol above the name fills up, and it causes a explosion. That explosion is an explosion of corrosive energy which can do a lot of damage and actually killed well right there empty that entire well opened every loot box in there and it killed every um alarm uh thing 
guard wise. And Mission complete. Excellent work, Tim. There you go. Then one more run, and that will jump me up to the max level, as you saw. A lot of XP. So, your weapon is level 14 and above, and it can do. And it can kill any Grenier in one to two shots, preferably one shot. And you have a stealth build Loki, which I will show you right now when the loading is done. Normally I cut end the video here, but I want you to see how I do it as Loki. So this is my Loki build, energy siphon, vitality, continuity, flow, natural talent, stealth drift, stream streamline hushed invisibility and constitution this will increase your overall health this will help invisibility last longer this will increase how much energy you have this will make my this will make your casting time reduced as you saw with loki i went in pretty quickly stealth drift uh shows me a bit more enemies on my radar aka minimap Streamline reduces how much the ability costs, and Constitution increases my knockdown time. So when I get up, so when I get knocked down, I can get up faster. But it also increases my power duration, which goes well as continuity, and then hushed invisibility, which Everything is the augment I told you about, operator? which is, is invis invisibility pun? augment. Hmm. Warframe weapon noise is reduced hmm. by 100 while invisible. And right now, energy siphon, I get 0 0.6 power rate regenerated. And if I, I have no... Your chosen Warframe suits you. Ha, ha. Yeah, yeah, ha, ha. Very good joke, Mortis. Alright, so this is my Sancti Tigers right now. Primed, point blank, and high cal. Hell's Chamber, and Shredder. Right now, I don't have a Orc and Catalyst on it. But I do plan to put one on it, and I do have an Oricon Reactor on Loki. So, where I want, where I would tell you guys to start, start on Earth, give a good few runs here, and then after a while, maybe, if you're brave enough, go to here, do a few runs. And then eventually come here. When you're confident that your weapon is strong enough and you have that build I showed you as Loki, which by all means please do use it if you think it will help you with spy missions or even capture missions. Um, if you're confident, come here, do as many runs as you need to, and you'll level up your weapon really quickly. And thank you for watching this video, bye bye.